welcome to Angie's Craft Corner. I'm Angie. Today we are going to do a 5x7 painting in uh, watercolors. And I've already sketched mine out with water, uh, Artisan watercolor pencil. And uh, I'm using a size 12 round brush to work uh, with, with my background. And uh, I'm not even doing this any rhyme or reason, but anyways. We are going to use about four colors today. We are using um, Osmarine Blue, Crimson, and um, Fontana, and um, Zap Green. And I'm using Reeves paint, um, two, two paints that I have uh, put out on a uh, palette and my mind is not this is my fourth video on this so let's see if this works but I'm just going to get this wet I've got one off camera well kind of on the edge and I've got my paper pretty wet today wet on then I'll probably need it but anyways with this big paintbrush I like these big round brushes. I never thought I'd like big, but man, who have many of these big old round things knew what they was inventing? Cause you can get a paint, you can get a five by seven done in no time flat. <coughs> and um, sorry about the dog. Hey, hush. Sorry about that. They are in the studio today. Did everybody see the video of how Tita got her name? If so, comment below and let us know what y'all think. <laughs> My mom is about ready to kill me over that video, but oh well, life goes on. If I wouldn't aggravate my mama, she'd think I was mad at it. Probably. Okay, now I'm going. I'm going to rinse my brush and get some uh, linton crimson or oh, red. Use a uh, rose metal, whatever red you have. And same thing with the blue. You know, it's just going. So, and I'm just going in. Kind of just blotting it. I mean, I'm not doing a big change. And it will probably turn into a more of a purple than a red, maybe even a pinkish when it dries. I'm fine with that. That's kind of what I'm looking for. And uh, I like doing these backgrounds before I do the flower, but I, I still go back over it at the end. And y'all can see I'm just not, there ain't no right reason or right why, why rhyme to what I'm doing today. I hope y'all are enjoying these uh, paint alongs. Uh, I know I'm not no artist, and I'll be forced to admit that. And I will tell y'all that. Okay, now I'm just going to go in and paint my leaves and my flower, and I probably should have dried it. I just realized my radio is off. Oh well. Ok, 
Okay, the center of this is going to be um, front sienna. But I'm going over the leaves also with front sienna as soon as it dries. And I will dry it, dry it while I'm on. Dry it in a minute. I will go off camera to do that because the noise of the heat gun is just annoying. I use a heat gun because I'm in the craft room, studio, whatever you want to call it out here. Uh, if I was in the house, I'd be using my hair dryer. I'm just gonna make my darker. I'm just gonna go over where I want my darker areas to be. And y'all, I know I paint fast on these videos because I uh, try to keep my videos about 15 to 20 minutes, no longer than 20 minutes long, because that's about as long as I can handle to watch one. And I don't want to put people through dying any longer of my voice than I have to. This is drying pretty quickly, but I've got the AC on. Y'all probably hear it in the background. It's hot here in Arkansas. And, uh, let me know what y'all think about these painting videos. I mean, I'm enjoying them, but I'm getting what I love to paint. And y'all can do this on the card or whatever. I'm just going to smell that out, even with the green. It's no biggie. I'm going to try this. So I'm going to pause y'all and be right back. Okay, I'm back. And I'm using um, burnt sienna now. And I'm getting it really watery. Because I just want a thin glaze over my flannel. And I'm going to do the inside first because I want it a little bit darker by the time I get the rest of it done. Maybe it'll be dry enough where I can add more or sienna to it. That's my plan anyways. And I'm doing the ones that I want darker before I do the rest of it. We'll go back over it with more.
Okay, so we're going to just paint over what we painted the green. And try to blend it all out. We may go back over and put more zap green over it because we want it more of an olive. And this palette don't have olive in it. Well, otherwise, I would just use olive. But I have done this painting. This is like the fourth video today I've done. I don't know why I grabbed green, but I did. Teach me from talking. Painting. Yeah, right. Y'all know me. That ain't gonna stop me. <laughs> anyway, so. How's everybody's day going? I hope everybody's having a great day. I'm feeling good today. I'm having actually a pretty good day considering everything that I've done the last few days. For the ones that don't know what's going on with me, I mean, most of you have seen the update. Well, we have had a tilt table test done a couple day weeks ago. And they have this discover that I've got something called the POTS. That's the abbreviation of it. And it's something that attacks your heart and all that. It's your nervous system that attacks that. And uh, it's no fun. I promise y'all. But it's, it's going to get better. I promise. It's got to. It ain't going to defeat me. So. And if y'all don't know what it is, look it up on YouTube. I mean, just type in what is POTS, and it describes me to it. Some of them describes me to a T. I want to travel so bad, and everybody that has it says it's rough on them. I can go for a day, and I'm just, it takes me a day to recuperate. And I'm like, I cannot even, can't even stand the thought of not being able to go. Okay, we're going to finish it, dry this again, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm taking my big rim brush again, the size 18, and I'm going to smooth this out some. I do not like the look of this. Means probably blow drying it or heat get setting it again. I'm going to use more blue. Let me pause it again and let's try this and see what it looks like. Okay, we're back. We are going to take the panels tape off of it. And hopefully it won't rip. I've had one to rip. I'm going to sign my name to it. I'm using just a black permanent um, sharp fine ultra fine tip mark. Goodness. And there we have it. Those are a little 5 by 7 in less than 15 minutes or so. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give us, give us a thumbs up. 
and I'll catch you later. We love you and have a good afternoon and a blessed, blessed day. I'll get it all out here in a minute.